realize why it's important to act quickly, because if we don't act quickly, what we, what we emit will uh, affect the next, uh, the next uh, generation. Says the world must act quickly, because the laws of physics are non-negotiable. On climate, the World Meteorological Organization said today that the Earth is set to experience its five warmest years on record from 2015 to 2019. Human activities are the primary cause of abnormally high levels of global warming over the past 50 years. Of course, there are natural factors like volcanic activity and carbon cycle contributing to this effect, but these factors are beyond our control. Earth is home to approximately 8.7 million species of plants and animals, and this number is steadily decreasing due to the human impact on greenhouse effect. Whales, Asian elephants, and monarch butterflies are just a few of the species that are target for climate change. More than 25,000 species, almost a third of these known, are in danger of disappearing, and climate change will be responsible for 8% of these. Recently, thousands of fish and other marine creatures such as crabs mysteriously washed up on the shore of Orgon's Beach in Chile, and experts say that changes in water temperature and quality may have been the cause. Volumes of scientific research across multiple scientific disciplines agree that humans are warming the climate, and the 2013 IPCC Fourth Assessment Report states, human influence on the climate system is clear. This is evident from the increase in greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere, positive radiative forcing, observed warming, and understanding of the climate in system. In this graph, you can observe the global temperature change from 1850 to 2018. Since 1970, carbon dioxide emissions have increased by about 90% with emissions from fossil fuel combustion and industrial processes contributing about 78% of the total greenhouse gas emissions increased from 1970 to 2011. We went from less than 5 billion ton carbon emissions a year in the late 1950s to over 30 billion ton a year in the late 2000s and the number just keeps increasing. Population growth is another major factor to increase greenhouse gas emissions. The UN predicts the population to reach about 11 billion by the end of this century, which is 40% of what it is now. Added to this, industries contribute to a major part of the yearly greenhouse gas emissions. These 20 industries contribute to one-third of the total yearly greenhouse gas emissions. As the world is developing and modernizing, it is highly unlikely that these numbers are going to fall. How can US individuals reduce greenhouse gas emissions? The first and foremost thing to do is calculate your carbon footprint. The EPA provides a free carbon footprint calculator that you can use. This will help you find out where your contributions come from. What other ways can you think of? It's now or never. We need to take action and mobilize our efforts and build a united front to ensure that this doesn't continue.